Hi, my name is René Goris and I am the head teacher of the IOC Dowland Healthcare Program. Today I'm going to talk to you about breathing. Breathing is something everybody does every day. It's the most urgent thing in our daily life and I'm going to tell you how breathing practices can improve the quality of your life and how they play a role in the IOC Dowland Healthcare Program that you can follow through this Patreon account. And you can become a member and sponsor the promotion of this program to help you out in your breathing. Breathing practice is uh, very simple. It basically allows you to let the breath go as it is. And when you have followed breathing practices from Buddhism or uh, mindfulness and stuff like this, you will recognize some of the aspects of that because they are based on these kind of breathing practices. The breathing practices as Taoists see it, to start with as a fast, is basically a reset of your system. So it wants you to decompose, deconstruct the tensions that you build up into your being and to do so uh, you want to let go of the automated programming that causes all kind of tensions in your body that make your movement and your existence uneconomic or uneconomical. And as a result of this un uneconomic uh, use of your breath and the tensions in your body, you eat too much, you sleep too much you talk too much, you feel too much, uh, you need too much, right? I don't know in how far you are thinking or feeling that you need either your cigarettes or your coffee or your beer or your drugs uh, to become a complete human and to have the right to have all these kind of happiness experiences because you think you have an utilitarian perspective on life where pleasure is more important than pain the long term the long term effects for many of the things that give us pleasure in effect cause us to die to get sick so from a moral perspective as far as Taoism is concerned it is unwise and unpreferable to allow these kind of pleasures to rule your life and a breathing pattern like this can help you untangle all the karmic knots inside your body to that that cause you to keep hanging on to these kind of things in the past all these kind of minor and major addictions they were called demons and demons have a tendency to whisper in your ears all the time like oh, this is okay for today is okay now you can do these kind of things this is okay and it is the permission that you give yourself to maintain all kind of tensions and routines into your system that are actually harmful to you and the accumulation of all these harmful things gradually accumulates 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 and creates disease at the moment when we go observe our breathing just by allowing the breathing to do whatever it wants you see that the breathing is not a regular pattern it's actually a non-regular pattern it's actually pretty much abstract and what we do in our breathing practice is hold our attention in our belly partly not necessarily on the Dantian but because if you are not really very fit sitting straight for a long time to do this practice actually is very hard because your muscles are not used to all this work but what you can experience at the beginning stage when you are hanging in your chair like now at this moment I'm leaning against the back side of my chair but I hold part of my attention in my belly is that at the moment when through the adapted breathing pattern the body starts shutting down all kind of tensions in the body 
as a result of that your awareness and the flow of the Kong Chi in your body goes below all the different kind of tensions and as a result of going below all the different kind of tensions it allows you to very simply resolve the tensions like water that floats alongside a mountain you don't need to address the tensions in your body when you do you accumulate blood which stagnates on the place where the tensions are when you have a pain in a place because of tensions because of whatever kind of uh, blockage or whatever kind of thing pain resulting from that will become more when you pay more attention to it so by allowing your attention to drift away from the places which are bothering you through this method you resolve the tensions of your body and come to a more calm mind it's true to do this kind of practices in a lotus position with your feet both up and sitting straight uh, with a vertical axis of your body straight of course is the best but if you can't do it like that do it like how I do it now I'm not going to show you the most difficult way now I'm going to show you the most easy way and I don't know if anybody of you is aware of the existence of uh, Osho or uh, Bachan as he was called uh, in the far more far past he died and he allowed uh, but he allowed during his work that people hang in all kind of postures while they're doing meditation the intention I'm sure was the same intention as in what I do right now but I warn you at the moment when you think that the allowance of hanging in a body posture is a permission then you are wrong because the purpose of the exercise is to feel uncomfortable enough that you feel the urge of your body to not hang like that right the urgency of your body is by nature to restore itself and to become better and at the moment when you're singing and you're sloping in your body there will be a pressure from one organ to another or a, one blood vessel that is being squeezed or a muscle that is a little bit twisted or tweaked and as a result of relaxation that doesn't feel good and it wants to fill up and become larger and take more space so the urge of your body the natural urge of your body according to Taoism is to take as much place as you can not by eating a lot and growing fat but by just being as large as you can be and that means that there are certain kind of things which are important like for instance the opening of the three gates on the back side of the body like in the base of the skull behind the heart and between the kidneys uh, through which your back remains tall as a result of that the interior shape of the body automatically uh, becomes more spacious and a lot of the practices that we do within the downland uh, short course uh, and on the online uh, classes is based on that principle so when you sign up for the online classes as a result of watching this video you will see that every class returns the aspect of opening up your spinal column elongating your limbs and to make sure that your body is open enough because without that openness the natural process of your body cannot take place and your breath cannot restore its natural natural rhythm of one breath per three minutes so that's the urge of your body to get back to that natural rhythm for me personally slowing down my breath has been a task that I put myself to for a long time one of my teachers I know he did it for 42 43 minutes at most for me my maximum was 22 minutes per breath right uh, but it takes time to get to that slowness the slowness of one breath in three minutes is relatively fast even within 10 minutes your breath can already very quickly be uh, one minute per breath so that's already very slow and then it can elongate from there depending on how relaxed you gradually become so this is what we know going to practice so we're going to sit you can put your hands on your lap on your knees or on your thighs and you just sit open you can keep your eyes a little bit closed if you want to but not completely closed because the tendency will be certainly in the beginning to fall asleep you can do that when you lie down and you can close your eyes and do this exercise as a means to fall asleep yeah, that's very easy it doesn't take anything away 
from the power of the exercise when you do it when you are awake. No, the thing is that you have to stay awake. So what you do, you just observe your breathing, you hold the tension of your, uh, at, at your belly, and you try to keep part of your attention on the outer form of your body, so that your attention is spread out over everything evenly. By doing that, you are aware of the form of your body, the form and the nature of your body, when in Taoism are considered the same. So what your body looks like represents who you are, and who you are then by nature, right? So by adapting the body form, you also adapt your nature. That's the whole principle of practice, of alchemical practice. So try for a few minutes. We only go through a short moment. And you try to observe your breathing, just allow it to go in by nature. What you try to do, you try not to breathe on purpose. You just hold your attention in your belly and you wait until your body starts breathing by itself and you just put a little bit of a break on it so that it doesn't go too fast. It shouldn't go too deep, it shouldn't go too hard because when you do that, you warm up your body and it's good if you're the Iceman, but for health purposes and for mental stability and calm, quietness is way better because it creates clarity in your mind and it creates a more economic body shape which helps you to deal with most tempered differences in your environment. So try, wait for the breathing to come by itself, break it a little bit, and at the moment when you feel by nature your in-breathing is enough, follow the natural process of out-breathing, also put a break on it. And then automatically a break comes at the end before the breath revolves and asks you to take more breath and because of holding the attention in the belly the breath gradually will move down towards the belly and you will notice that the breathing moves a little bit deeper a little bit more to the left a little bit more to the right and it tries to find its way through the volume of your trunk like a leaf in the waters of a lake. Just observe your breathing. If you have a preference to breathe through your nose or your mouth, doesn't really matter. Because of the slow breathing, the sinuses will clear. The tensions of your mental activities, they will subside, your heart calms down. Your brain becomes a little bit devoid of blood. Your hormonal mirrors, they will adapt. Your nervous system starts firing a little bit less intensive. Okay. For now, first time while playing this video, this is uh, long enough to have a first experience. At the moment when you interrupt your breathing, now or after half hour, the tendency is for some people to take a lot of air and that will make you dizzy. The moment when you make yourself dizzy, squeeze yourself here in the upper lip until it hurts to contract your consciousness back inwards and calm down again. Try to do sessions of 10 minutes. Modern telephones, I was looking for an extra phone, but I don't have another extra phone here. Modern telephones, they tend to, how do you say, <coughs> have a stopwatch inside, so you can set that on 10 minutes. And at the moment when you feel confident with 10 minutes, 
add another 10 minutes after some time. After you have done that, and that's 20 minutes, including all the setting, altogether 25 minutes, and you feel confident after a few days, just do 20 minutes in one session. Or do try to do 30 minutes in one session after some time more. The best is to do two hours per day. Start at 11 o'clock in the evening and finish at 1 o'clock in the night. This is the best time for meditation because the day starts in Chinese time calculation at 11 o'clock in the evening, hour 11 o'clock in the evening. And because of that, the young starts growing again at the beginning of the day. So with the growing of the young, your awareness grows and also your vital uh, your vital connection with life itself grows and from day to day it will grow stronger because of sitting longer time the inconvenience of hanging will become self-evident and you will want to sit up straight when you sit up straight and you feel confident enough you can sit on the floor maybe in the beginning you want to use a cushion but after at least a few weeks time you should not be able to not be needing a cushion anymore you should sit flat on the floor and at the moment that you sit flat on the floor you start noticing there is still a lot more stretch to do this is where the yoga comes in you can go to the opening video from the patreon site which shows a few yoga exercises to start with uh, or you can go uh, sign up for the yoga classes on the online learning platform at the moment when you partake in the yoga classes we go through play yoga to help you open up your body stretch your body to make sure that things go well as a result of these practices your breathing also becomes more slow so the more your body is open the easier it becomes it doesn't have to become difficult acrobatics uh, it just has to contribute to a general health at the moment when you want to take this profession serious you start noticing there's a need for more different kind of patterns more different kind of exercises whether it's tai chi or yoga or qigong or fitness or meditation or even dietary practices and so on and so forth all these kind of things are all relevant to create uh, a good understanding of how breathing works and to get the most out of your breathing patterns but this is a start this is a first start and at the moment when you get effect from this you start noticing you're able to economize a lot of things in life and for most people this practice is enough at the moment when you notice you want more or you need more get back to the program and go sign up thank you for listening